So in this video we're going to be explaining you a difference between a unit test and integration test. So if you think about it, um, we have layers in our code, right? So what have we created right now is every Angular project has a UI layer, everyone. Like these are your smart components, presentation components, and so on. This UI layer, hopefully by now you already know that there should be like an infrastructure layer in which we would, uh, let's call it services. Um, so the idea is that this infrastructure layer would be getting things from the outside. Now, when you think about it, like, this is your application, right? So, I'm going to make it bigger. Whoopa. Okay. So, you see, this is the application. So, where... So, all sounds and all good. When you do unit tests, each of these layers consists of classes. So, you have to define a unit of work, but typically a unit of work is just a class. So everything from the outside, if I want to test a component, I would mock my services. This creates very nice opportunity for tests and the stability of my system is a lot better because now I can mock all this layer and I don't care about those calls and I can now create all kinds of covariance and all kinds of scenarios in my UI layer, like I don't know what happens when I get the 500 from the backend or what happens when I'm not authenticated, what happens... And this is a perfect example of a unit test where you can actually mock those things away and then see if, I don't know, your components are showing the blank slate. What if I get the data with empty array? Those kind of things you do in the unit test because they are fast, they give you nice feedback, uh, you know exactly what line broke, if anything broke, and it's just super cool. Now, when it comes to the services, you can test them as unit test as well. What you can do is, you obviously the same the same idea as it's before. So you would mock away everything from the outside and then just you know call the methods and then see if I don't know maybe because you know the service typically would have like a, like a driver and that driver is the client. In our case, it's the HTTP client. And this client you can mock it away again. You see unit test you mock things in your constructor. So you can say that service called this client, now it's mocked, so I can say if I call the method get all, it needs to represent a, I don't know, get request on my client and so on. And, and that's good, that's good, but pretty junior. If you really think about it, it doesn't bring a lot of value. You can do a lot better than that. So this is why you, it really should represent things like this. If you think about it, your services are still part of the application, but this is like the edge of it. And then the client, the libraries you use, whether it's HTTP client, GraphQL or whatever, that is really making a cause to the outside world. So why would you mock it? Like what you want is not to mock the client. You want to mock the server to which you connect to because then you know that request was really made and it was you don't have to like check all those um, things on your, on your end you can actually mock the server and then if you get that kind of request on that server you want to get this response and that way you take the whole integration between your application and the outside world i hope that's clear I know it creates a lot of confusion, but if you have any questions, please leave the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer. And I will show you what to do with it in the next video.